page 384, number 11. Find the exact values of the sine, cosine, and tangent of the angle. So this means we want to find the sine of 11 pi over 12, cosine of 11 pi over 12, and, and tangent of 11 pi over 12. Okay, let's take these one at a time. So over here I'm going to write the sine of 11 pi over 12. Now it gives me a hint on how to solve this problem right here. It says 11 pi over 12 equals 3 pi over 4 plus, pi over, plus pi over 6. So I'm thinking that what we're going to have to do is use our sum and difference formulas. In this case, a sum formula to find the sine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6. So I can think of this as sine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6. Now I know that I have a sum and difference formula that says sine of u plus v equals I'm going to write this out. Sine of u plus v equals the sine of u times the cosine of v minus the cosine of u or excuse me plus the cosine of u times the sine of v. So let's plug these values in for u and v. So this is going to equal the sine of 3 pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 plus the cosine of 3 pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. Okay, at this point our unit circle is going to come in very handy. I can look on my unit circle and see that the sine of 3 pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of pi over 6, which is equal to the square root of 3 over 2, plus the cosine of 3 pi over 4, which is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2, times the sine of pi over 6, which is equal to 1 half. Again, I got all those values off of my unit circle. Okay, at this point, let's simplify these fractions. Square root of 2 times square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 6 over 4 plus square root of, negative square root of 2 times 1 is negative square root of 2. 2 times 2 is 4, which I can write as the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And there's my exact answer for the sine of 11 pi over 12. Now we can verify all these answers. Let me just get my calculator out and show show you how we can verify this. If I just type in here the sine of 11 pi over 12. I'm going to get a strange decimal answer. But if I type this expression in here, so let's type in the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 divided by 4, I should get the exact same strange decimal. So that verifies that my answer is, is correct. Okay, let's go back to this problem. We found the sine of 11 pi over 2. Now we need to find the cosine of 11 pi over 2. Let's put that work up here. So what we're looking for is the cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6. And again, I can use my sum or difference formulas. I know that the cosine of u plus v is equal to this. The cosine of u times the cosine of v minus the sine of u times the sine of v. Okay, u is equal to 3 pi over 4, v is equal to pi over 6. Let's make those substitutions. So we've got the cosine of 3 pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 minus the sine of 3 pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. Okay, and again, we can look to our unit circle to find each of these values. So on the unit circle, we can see that the cosine of 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of pi over 6 equals the square root of 3 over 2 minus the sine of 3 pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2 
times the sine of pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. So simplifying what we have, we have negative square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4, which we can write as negative square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. Okay, last part of this problem. We need to find the tangent of this angle. Now the tangent formula gets kind of messy here, but let's see what we can do with this. So we can say the tangent of 3 pi over 4 plus the pi over 6. And looking at my sum and difference formulas, I can find the tangent of these two by taking the tangent of u plus the tangent of b all over 1 minus the tangent of u times the tangent of v. Okay, so from our unit circle, we know u is 3 pi over 4, v is pi over 6. Let's find the tangent of each of these quantities. So 3 pi over 4, the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. Plus, the tangent of pi over 6 is going to equal 1 over the square root of 3, which I can write as the square root of 3 over 3, over 1 minus tangent of 3 pi over 4 again is negative 1, times the tangent of pi over 6 again is the square root of 3 over 3. So we have negative 1 plus the square root of 3 over 3, over 1 plus the square root of 3 over 3. Let's try to simplify what we have. First of all, these 1's, let's write those as 3 over 3 so we can combine some, some of these fractions. So that gives me negative 3 plus the square root of 3 all over 3. What I did there is I thought of this negative 1 as 3 over 3, added the 3 on top, kept my common denominator on bottom, over same thing on the bottom, 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3. Now I think we can see there that these 3's are going to cancel out. So what we're left with is negative 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3 plus the square root of 3. Now to simplify this fraction, I need to multiply top and bottom here by the conjugate of the denominator. And if we do that, using FOIL, let's start with the bottom. We'll have 9 plus 3 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3, that cancels out, minus 3. On top, using FOIL, I'll have negative 9 plus 3 square root of 3 plus another 3 square root of 3, so I've got plus 6 square root of 3, and then minus 3. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze this in here. Negative 9 minus 3, that'll give us negative 12, plus 6 times the square root of 3, over 9 minus 3 is 6, and if I reduce this fraction, let's bring this answer right up here, if I reduce this fraction, that'll give me negative 2, plus the square root of 3.